Not much compares to Google Ads for consistently high profits. Google Ads have a wide application for all kinds of business. With the combination of Google text ads and Google shopping ads, you're really given a platform for sustainable growth. So we're gonna start off with some text ads in this video, and we're gonna do this by clicking on new campaign. So let's go ahead and click on sales. Down here, we're gonna to wanna to activate our purchase conversion objective, and then we'll go ahead and hit continue. So when we come into here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click on search ads and click on create a conversion action. Once you have that all set up, you can go ahead and you can name your campaign and for this we'll just put it as a data collection campaign once you have that all set up we'll go ahead and hit continue and when it comes to setting this up we're gonna start off with a budget of hundred dollars per day we're gonna focus on conversions we're gonna start off by setting it very low with only a 40 cent cost per click and then go ahead and hit next now once we get into here we're not gonna use the search network we're not gonna use the display network for the countries we're gonna go ahead and select the main country that you plan on actually selling to then down here under targeting, we need to do present people in that target location and present people excluded target location. Now, this is very important that you choose the same country that you plan on doing your Google shopping campaign for because we're trying to collect data that we're going to implement over on the shopping campaign. And then we'll continue down here. And for the language, you can just leave it as English. For audience segmentation, we're not going to do anything with that. And then for dynamic search ads, we're not going to do anything with that either. Go ahead and hit next. Now, in here is where we're going to actually set up the key keywords that we're going to be targeting. So when it comes to the keywords that we're going to be targeting, we want to find core keyword groups. Now these keywords are going to be split into two different groups. So we have niche general product and long tail product specific. So when it comes to determining what's a niche general and what's a long tail product specific, you can go ahead and you can look up a niche general. So a niche general example would be yoga mat. So as we scroll down, you're going to see down here, we have our long tail keywords. Now what we're going to do is we're going to implement them in there. So over here in our key keyword setup, we have yoga mat. And the one that we're going to be utilizing is a phrase match type. This is where you need to get creative again. We're trying to find search terms that aren't these. We already know that those ones are related to the product. We want to create a situation where our ads are going to generate a bunch of search terms that we wouldn't have thought of. So once we have these implemented, let's say we're working with the search term yoga mat, but then for the display path, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we actually put in yoga mat in here. So here you can see I have the main keyword of yoga mat, which is the very, very broad one. But then down here, I have soft top lined layout. And then we also have perfect for hot yoga. We're going to go down to the description and we'll do the exact same thing. So just to give you an example, something along the lines of this. Now, once you have that all set up, go ahead and look at your ad, kind of see how it looks. I would say this definitely looks like it should have a little bit more up here. So once I implement that, I think that looks great. We've got a good amount of numbers. We've got a good amount of text. And we've also got this main broad keyword for generating our search terms. Now down here, another thing that I want you to implement on your text ads, just because it's going to increase your click through rate and ensure that you're really getting people clicking through with purchase intent, go down here into image extensions. Now you might be wondering what is image extensions? Well, that's this right here. So you can see when we have an actual product down here in text form, you can still present an image with that product. So of course we want to do that back over here. You just go ahead and click add a new image extension. Now, once that's all done, you'll be taken to this page where you can review all the different information that you implemented into your ads and go ahead and click publish campaign. Now, once you publish that campaign, you should have all of your long tail product specific keywords and your niche general product keywords activated in those ads. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go evaluate the data and get information that will then implement into our shopping ads. This is where the magic is going to happen. So as we scroll through, you're going to see we have all these different search terms coming through and you're going to see they say phrase match close variant. This is keeping things very, very broad so that we can get all these different matches coming through. And what we're trying to do is find ones that have a lot of engagement or purchases that we can then use to optimize our listing for our shopping ad. So back over here, we're going to go ahead and hit the plus sign and click create a new campaign. Inside here, we're going to go ahead and select sales. Down here, we'll hit purchases. Down here, we're going to go ahead and of course, select shopping. Down down here for the setup, we're going to actually do a standard shopping campaign and then go ahead and click continue. And then down here for the bid strategy, we're going to do manual CPC with enhanced CPC turned on and optimized for conversions. Then down here for the budget, we'll do $100 again. For the campaign priority, you can leave it as low. We're going to disable search network, make sure that we're targeting the US 
and then we're gonna set this so that it starts a day after our keywords campaign. So we'd start this on the 12th instead of the 11th. For the ad group, just put a name that would make sense for you. And then for the bid, we're gonna do 40 cents. Now, once your campaign's created, it's gonna take you to this page. And immediately what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and click on this little plus icon. And then in here, we wanna go to product type and click on item ID. And then once you select it, go ahead and click save without editing bid. Now, once that's all set up, we're gonna have two product categories. We wanna just make sure that we go ahead and we exclude all the other products and only have that one product being targeted within this campaign. Now, once you have your keyword campaigns and your shopping campaigns set up, what you wanna start doing is called cross-referencing. What this means is we're gonna dive into both these different campaigns and find long tail search terms that correlate with each other. Now, let's say you find something like adult sound machine and then over in your keywords campaign, you find something that it just says sound machine. If you have a search term adult sound machine within your keyword campaign, that same search term is gonna be boosted within your shopping campaign. We then would wanna come over here to Facebook and then in here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a custom audience based off the people that have been interacting with our store. So we would go into website and then in here, you can actually use some of these lower conversion events. So you could use page view, you could use add to cart, initiate checkout, and then of course purchases. Now, even if you use page page view, that's still really good because the people that are finding your product on Google through your keywords campaigns, through your shopping campaigns, have purchase intent. We then want to create a custom audience for those people and we're going to go ahead and retarget them on Facebook. Now to take this even a step farther, not only are we going to do retargeting, but what we're going to actually do is we're going to take, let's say a page view audience and in here we would create a lookalike audience of those page view customers. And what this is going to do is it's going to go over to Facebook. Facebook and it's going to eliminate all of this. So when it comes to Facebook, one of the biggest issues that's occurring right now is the targeting. It's tough to get targeting correct because so many different things inside Facebook have been removed. So this is creating cross-platform targeting, ensuring that you're optimizing the data between your shopping campaigns and your keyword campaigns, giving you the highest chances of succeeding and not only succeeding, but also generating consistent income from all your Google ads moving forward. If you're liking the content on this channel, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.